Hey guys, what is up? It is from the neighborhood of Goose here, back again with another Isaac Breaking Run. See this on the screen. This time we're starting with Polyphemus. Uh, we've had a couple runs with Polyphemus in a row, uh, so we might as well just start a run with Polyphemus this time instead of, you know, basically the other runs started with something else and then got Polyphemus by the end. Let's just start with Polyphemus. It's a sweet item. I am not a fan of that damage that I took. Not one bit. Not a fan of this room, though. This is easily the worst room in the entire cellar. Um, which is frustrating, because the cellars are... Oh my god. It's already a really frustrating place. Just gets worse when this room fucking exists. That's fine. You know, only took four hits on the room. It's easy. Uh, I'm not going to shoot poop. It takes too long with Polyphemus. I should, but there we go. We're fine anyway. Taking damage on this floor isn't nearly as big of a deal as taking it on the next floor, so I'm okay. We could have an arcade on the next floor. Potentially. That was two very quick shots, actually. Like, way quicker than I thought Polyphemus could shoot. Wow. Alright. I think this is a one run, boys. Uh, Magic Mush doesn't give you a tears up, unfortunately, which hurts, but uh, I think the 1.5, also we got basement, holy tits. Ouch! No, no! The fuck are you doing? Spike, spikes, 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 you mind? Oh my god, of course there's nothing. What the fuck is going on, dude? Alright, well there goes our spirit heart. I mean, I know why it happened, but it's still fucking annoying. Um, yeah, Magic Mush is a 1.5 times damage multiplier, which is yeah, it's pretty good with Polyphemus, I suppose. Yeah, it could be better. Could it, though? Probably not. At least not much better. Not digging the, the big rooms, though. Yeah, especially because it's another, basically, the basement version of... <laughs> of, uh the worst cellar room. It's much less difficult on the basement because there's not spiders. Um, and instead there's blast assists, which is, you know, a lot easier because spiders are the horseshit part. SMB Superfan is pretty sweet. This one does give a tears up. However, does not give a 1.5 times damage multiplier. I'm just blowing these up to get them out of the way. Golden chest. Yeah, fuck it. Infamy. Sure! <laughs> so far, so pretty fucking great. This run seems incredible. Uh, I'm not going to take that yet. Let's see what we got. Little Brim. I'm going to reroll that. Yee. I don't like Little Brimstone. I think he's great. I think he's, like, very good. Don't. I'm not trying to say he's bad. I just don't like it. I don't like the way he changes the game. It's like the epic fetus of familiars. It's like a completely different game is being played. Nice, these are great. Uh, can you grab it before you fucking get the fuck out? Oh my god, I'm not happy with myself at all right now. Oh, boy. All right. It's fine. You know, people probably think I'm, like, really shit at Isaac. And you're not entirely wrong, but you're basing this off of uh, marathoned recordings of... Uh, curse the point. Of Binding of Isaac trying to do breaking runs at, you know, fucking 1.30 in the morning. Let's take it. Cancer. Hell yeah. All right. This run, like, is really good. This seed is fucking phenomenal. Now all we need is a sacred heart and a godhead and, you know, a golden pony boy. I do wish that Polyphemus could actually, like, hit bombs, though. That's, that's probably the worst thing about Polyphemus is that you can't shoot bombs with your tears with it.
All right. Well, we are pretty much set. We should get to deal with the devil or angel. Um, so here's the thing. If we get to deal with the angel, this is, this is my plan. And if somebody else plays along and does, you know, follows the exact same steps or whatever and figures out something different about what might happen and figures out that I'll, I'll have gotten rid of Godhead or something, uh, I'll be a little upset, but that's okay. What I'll do is, if I get to deal with the angel, I will, uh, as long as it's a pedestal item, I mean, even if it's not, I'll, I'll do the same thing. Basically, what I'm planning on doing is blowing up the angel statue, assuming I get a bomb, and uh, then re-rolling. So, even though I have Curse the Blind, I won't know what the other thing I'll be re-rolling is, but I will know that I'm re-rolling a key piece. The issue is, I need to get a bomb. Which I do not have yet, but let's go to the shop, see, see if there's a bomb for sale. There is not, so this is problematic. That's okay. Um, there is still There are still deals at the Angel that are use items. Like, uh, or spacebar items, I guess, not use items. Like Dead Sea Scrolls, for example. But let's get a deal with the devil instead. We got enough. Hey. Foof. Foof. Floor was less than great based on our first couple floors. Uh, I'm gonna say that that floor was the worst one so far. Doesn't mean it was bad. Also, yeah, Infamy. Fun fact, in for me, it doesn't matter what direction you're facing. Uh, it doesn't at all. Somebody fully tested it, and it will block tears from behind you. And, as you can see right there, it definitely blocked the tear that was behind me. <laughs> okay, alright. All these red heart drops, no bombs. It's frustrating. All these red heart drops, no bombs. Frustrating. Well, deja vu. Heep! Whoop! Alright, we're fine. Carrying Queen. This boss is a pain in the ass without piercing tears. But I'd say if you don't have piercing tears, having super high damage is probably the next best way to deal with this boss. Although the fact that she's pooping this much is proving. Fairly awful for the whole beating her front. Holy shit, I can't aim. I hate that everything else... What the fuck? I hate that so many things... Um, run at a lower FPS. Including fucking bosses like Carrion Queen. It's so stupid. Alright, we'll take this. Because, like, Carrion Queen was clearly moving at 30 FPS, and it was super hard to predict because my eyes were actively bleeding. I mean, I understand it's, like, mostly for, um, performance reasons. And normally I, I don't mind, but, like, my biggest thing about performance is that, you know, 60 FPS. I care most about 60 FPS over, like, anything else. I don't give a shit if the game looks pretty. I don't give a shit if any of that. Like, if the game is running at a good frame rate, which means generally minimum... Uh, 60 FPS, I'm happy about it. Um, okay, so here's what we'll do. Okay, here's the plan. The Overlord will act as a retard magnet, drawing out the Protoss forces. Um... We're not ditching the D6. Don't worry. We're, we're, we're sticking with it. What the fuck? No! Excuse you! The game is bugged! The game is bugged! We have Book of Elial! There's actually no reason that there shouldn't be a deal with the devil there. There 100% should be a deal with the devil. The game is bugged. This is horseshit. I'm fucking furious. I literally have an item that guarantees a deal with the devil. And it's still not there. 
Isaac, you're really, you're really making this shit a lot worse than it needs to be. I don't know why. I don't know what your fucking, what your motive is. But come on. <laughs> there's like bad luck, and then there's literally defying the game's engine to make me get fucked in the butthole. Not appreciative, Isaac. Not appreciative. I'm actually like super fucking mad right now. Like, how does that happen? There's nothing about Book of Belial that is like, oh, if you didn't have it when the boss died, you don't get a deal. You do. I've done this many times. I think a lot of people have done it many times. Oh my god, that's so stupid. I'm so fucking salty. Uh, uh, I hate you, game. I really do. I really am starting to hate you. Last run, you fucking punished me and gave me no deals with the devil. You gave me the initial deal with the devil, which had Krampus, and I appreciated that. But then after that, nothing. Nada. I got a single deal with the angel, and that was it. No matter how many floors I did without taking red heart damage. And now it's going to be the same fucking story, and I'm going to be so mad. I'm just not going to give me deals with the devil on a fucking run that's actually really good. This room is kind of an asshole, so I don't like it. This room's fine. Okay. What? Okay. Alright. Just, just relax, you know? Bring it back. Bring it in. Reel it in. What's the worst thing that can happen? Not get another deal with the devil on this floor? I guess so. That'd be pretty bad. That would be the worst thing that could happen. Bloat. Kind of an asshole-ish boss, but not too terribly bad. Unless the eyes just fucking decide to turn around! Oh my god. I've said it so many times. The issue with bloat is not anything to do with what makes bloat unique. It's just the eyes. I hate these fucking eyes. How do I avoid it?! By the way, that wasn't the brimstone, in case you were wondering. That was the fucking eyes. Stop it! Die! Oh my god! The eyeballs! Thank you! Thank you, sweet fucking Christ! I shouldn't have fucking re-rolled before opening this. It didn't matter. I'm so fucking mad. The game is just dicking me. Just give me a hot dicking right now. Like, I don't know what's more horseshit. The fact that I didn't get a deal with the devil from multiple floors in a row after not taking red heart damage on a single one. Or the fact that I fucking get bloat and he just, his eyeballs just fuck me. We're on Necropolis 1, which means that this is just a shitload of spirit hearts, but that's okay. I'll take a shitload of spirit hearts. I don't want to take the D6 with me to potentially re-roll our item room item. Uh, I don't think I'll have enough re-roll, or enough rooms to re-roll it. Thank you, Infamy, for making a horseshit room much less horseshit. Based. Game. The game and I have a very love-hate relationship, if you haven't realized. The game decides to make me have an awful time, and then make me have a great time. And then, you know, back and forth like that pretty much ad nauseum until 
I quit playing, which probably will never happen, because this game is too fun. Alright, we actually did get a reroll. This is a big, big floor. Wow, there's still another room in there. No. Yes! Let's blow up skulls. If I get a good card, I will absolutely take blank card. If I don't get a good card, I still might take blank card. Judgment. It's not a bad card. Uh, I'll tell you that. Just straight up. Okay. How about let's not fucking leave the room. I'm like... My brain doesn't know what to do with the information it's receiving. Uh, there's gotta be a room with more than one skull in it that I can blow up. Like, at once, that is. I don't think this room has any. Oh no, it does. This is actually a good room for it. Tarot cards. Uh, okay. I don't think it's worth it, so... Okay, this is interesting. back for the red hearts. And I guess back for the penny that, yeah, the pennies that were not exactly safe to grab before. And red heart, and let's go. I only have one bomb because I blew up so many fucking skulls to try and get a tarot card that was worthwhile of taking one card, but. Oh well, let's just, let's move along. Of course, it's Necropolis again. What else is new? It just means more fucking heart enemies. Hearts and masks are the most bullshit thing. I hate them so goddamn much. I'm liking the key drops though, these are nice. Ooh, Bricano. Was hoping per throw, but we'll just use Bricano and move along. I'll pick it up because if there's a library on this floor, then we should be able to reroll into the item room pool. I will absolutely take the mind. There's not a library, but that is a chest room. Let's continue this way. Check out our shop, which probably has super greed. It's not super greed. Wow, it's crazy. Um, all right, this is an interesting scenario we found ourselves in. I will go to the second secret room over the secret room. Sure, purple heart. Okay. Um, I do want to explore the majority of this floor. At the very least, I want to see the chest room and get a reroll ready for our boss slash deal with the devil that won't happen. Okay, that was a pretty good golden chest. So just give me... Alright. Yeah, that's a good item. Okay. Alright. Are we guppy yet? Yeah, we are, because we had the collar. All right, we're guppy. This is pretty great. Puberty, and I can see forever. Yes, yeah, so that'll save us a bomb. Let's get a reroll ready. So our flies are a bit absurd. <laughs> um, I guess we'll finish exploring the floor. Might as well. The, what is the reason not to? We got bombs as well. Alright. Interesting. Uh, this floor was pretty great. <laughs> I hate this shit, though. I hate that every other floor is phenomenal. <laughs> and then, the, you know, the non-phenomenal floors are just, like, the biggest piles of shit. Oof. 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 It's pretty brutal. <laughs> Don't need to use a bomb for this. Super greed is there. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's kind of shitty. Oh, well. 
Uh, might as well buy that. Might as well buy that. And I don't... Yeah, I mean, whatever. Our pills are good enough, I think. Speed down. Well, I say that... <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I didn't even realize. Sick. Uh, woo, that's two good items. I'm gonna take rubber cement. I think this item is cooler. Wow! Holy shit, Gertie Jr., I'm so sorry. I feel awful. And uh, because of the Purple Heart, we were lucky enough to get Champion Boss Rush, which means that we should net positive a large amount of the hit points by the end of this floor. Or end of this room. So you know what's interesting to me? Is that our tears are bouncing off of rocks if we start outside of the rocks, but if we're in them, they act spectral. Sometimes? This is weird. This is some weird interaction that's going on here, and I like it. I like it when the game doesn't make much sense. Oh! So, I was definitely considering using my D6, but like, holy shit, that is, it's two really good items. I'm not gonna pass up on two really good items. The other one, of course, being Sad Onion, because uh, higher tiers is pretty incredible for, you know, 2020 Polyphemus Guppy. Can you stop turning so you can die? Thanks. Oh, death, you're so dead. I don't even care that I'm getting hit. That's shit. That's also shit. Fuck you. So this runs, uh, it's pretty good. Also, to anybody saying that I didn't go to boss rush enough, which I don't think there are any of you. I'm just creating a straw man to make myself feel better. Um, but you know, I mean, some people don't comment reasonable uh there you go i hope you enjoyed <laughs> because what is this was it three runs or four runs in a row that i've gone to boss rush now it's quite a few it's a it's a good number uh greater than zero okay all right our flies are just murdering everything it's interesting Explosive diarrhea. Alright, let's go to the curse room, even though, like, what what could be in the curse room that we want? I don't know. Goat head? Ensure that we're actually getting a deal with the devil on this floor? Oh yeah, we have Mr. Mega. We don't even have to place it too precisely. <laughs> Sweet. Contract from below, paying dividends. So we only have a single boss, which could be a few things, but I'm gonna assume it's Conquest. I think it, saying it's Conquest is probably a safe assumption. Alright, we're getting a bunch of keys, this is good. When it comes to Womb 1 bosses, it's like, Conquest, Mr. Fred, are like every run. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take it. Um, so, you know, that's Skolex. Cool, I haven't seen him in actually quite a few. Oh, what the fuck? That was a weird spot to jump from. Synth oil, no deal with the devil. Wow, rude as fuck. All right, let's check out uh, the other room, so. Maybe not finish exploring, because I'm not going to backtrack all the way to the start, but... Nice. Good ricochet. Let's just blow some of these bad boys up. For, I don't know, black hearts, tarot cards. Black heart. Two unknown, tears down, lemon party. Man! We just got super lucky, apparently, with all our pills. Apparently. Pre picking up a little baggy. <laughs> Damn, that's actually frustrating. Uh, no tinted rockerimis. All right. 
Let's move on. Um, wow. Do we go to the arcade in Second City Room? I think so. I think it's pretty not smart not to go this direction. Guppy's paw. Punch up. That's nice. Speed up. Look at that. Two good pills. Pentagram. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I won't pick that up on the off chance that, you know, there's actually something on this floor that we want to reroll. I wish I could move those with my tears. Let's see what you will give us. Alright, a spirit heart and a curved horn. Alright, I mean, you've, you've done your fucking duty. See you later. Congratulations on making this run already super awesome. Fortune teller. Uh, there's no mini boss. There's the boss gauntlet room. Let's check that out. If there's a pedestal there, then this could be cool. All right, I didn't use Guppy's paw. Uh, we'll go back for the blood bank. There. I, I for some reason my brain. I thought that I um used Guppy's paw when I picked it up. I don't know why. I don't know what, something just didn't sit right or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Help, help me. Uh, okay. So yeah, Curved Horn is a damage up, which is, uh, what the fuck? How do I have half a heart? Oh, cause we have cancer. This is the same run? I guess so. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no, we did. Yeah, yeah, cancer was on the second floor, right? I think so. Let's use that. See you later, chub. No item. Let's grab these red hearts. Stay at a half heart interval, though. Tears down. Double tears down pill. That's great. Oh, there's a tin rock. I don't think we have small rock. No, we do. We do. We do. Oops. So there's some argument to be made for blowing up those uh, shrooms. But I don't, I don't care. We already have our magic mush, so. Speed up. Speed up. And we have two explosive diarrhea, so there's no real reason not to blow it up except for laziness. So, uh, you know, I'm lazy. You got me. This shouldn't be a surprise at this point. That's pretty much what I expected to have happen. Back to a half heart interval. Let's go. So the mind is a great item. It lets every single floor just be way better. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just do this. This will be incredible. Hopefully. Assuming this is a good library that has multiple pedestals, which is maybe not the safest assumption. Woo! Have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah. What you got for me? Two pedestals. Alright. That should probably be enough. Okay. Book of Rev. Satanic Bible. Let's just uh, do this real quick. Got his tail is alright. I guess the ordering was pretty bad in case that was a room that had enemies in it. Oh, there's a troll bomb. Okay, I'm fine. Um, so here's what we'll do is we'll come back this direction. Grab that. Go here. Drop a bomb. 
Go into here. I don't give a shit about it anymore. Whatever. Let's blow, blow this up. There's a chance for 48 hour energy. I think that was in a rotation. We got our explosive diary back. Bombs are key is kind of useless. Uh, let's move on, go to some rooms, get our charge back, reroll again. We should... I don't know if there's any books actually left in the pool now? I'm actually unsure. I'm trying to think. Which ones have we not had? I, I, I don't actually remember any that we haven't had, but maybe my memory is just failing me. Oops. Yeah, let's go this way first. We should get, uh, this reroll and one more anyway, so. Yeah. Should. Maybe not necessarily absolutely the case, but. Okay, yeah. So, books are done, so we'll just pick these up and put them back down. So now, next reroll, we should just get two item room items. And we have the AAA battery, so we are Gucci to do the... Mob Gauntlet Room. Is it you know, easy or something? I think it was easier to do it than it, it was to say that we were going to do it. It's pretty great. I love when that happens. Yeah, we are power. <laughs> Just absolute power. I don't like the Demon's Tail. Not enough, at least. Right there, should be good. Should you get both? Sweet, it did. Cancer. Ooh. It's pretty good. We're gonna obviously hold on to this because we want to get a reroll ready. Um. Actually, it's probably better to not reroll this library because. Yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, I'll just save the reroll for the next floor and take Cancer with us. I guess. Eh, that's annoying. I committed so much and got so little. That's okay, though. So, Cancer's a great trinket. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. Oh my god! So, yeah. Let's, uh... The reason that I... Oh, no! <laughs> this could be the worst thing that could ever happen. Chemical Peel's good. Daddy Long Legs is good. No! No! I will say, the fact that I have 2020 makes this a lot better, though. I think we have enough that it's okay. But damn it, dude. Damn it, god damn it. That's hilarious. The one item that would make me upset, given the situation. Maybe not the one item, maybe there's more. Halo. Sure. Virgo. Sure. Virgo, in case you didn't know, gives the PhD effect. How great is that? Oops. Not a good hit. Alright. Let's continue on our merry way. Get a reroll ready in this next room. So I will say, Tiny Planet Rubber Cement has some of the fucking silliest looking interactions with the way that the bullets work. Like, it's just downright silly. So this was Crack the Sky. Fuck that. Death's Touch. Welp. Alright, this run's incredible again. We've done it. We've come full circle twice. I can't even see the ground. We've come full circle more than twice, actually. This is... This run has been like an amalgamation of weird, random, some good, some bad shit. Strange Tractor could be great. Probably isn't. Um, interesting. Interesting stuff going on here. I'm glad that we have Contract from Below with Guppy's Tail, because we rolled basics, okay? Fingers. Alright, so this is the room to reroll. Excuse me, I would like these bombs. Excuse me. So, I could actually use D20 to be smart. Soul? Sure. Teleport. Nah. 
Uh, yeah, let's use the d20 once. Then, magic fingers. So, uh, d6 is on the left. So let's use it here. It's unfortunate. D6, use d6. Pick up Mom's Eye. Monster's Tooth is bad. I don't know how Mom's Eye interacts with this. Yeah, we'll just shoot a third one every now and then. Those eyeballs, man. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I don't actually know the words, all of them, so I apologize. I need them. Alright. Interesting. Red hearts. Interesting. Uh, we'll have one more reroll. If. Well. We basically don't have another reroll. I didn't know there were two in this room. So, a little bit annoying. I mean, we'll, we'll have a reroll after the boss. What's the fun in that? That's good. Excuse me. I want this. Uh, I mean, the fun in it is... It's fun, so... We'll just get to see what we can reroll one of those shitty things into. I don't think any of these rooms has more than two uh, pedestals, so we'll just we'll go to one of them randomly or something. Oh my Christ! Oh no! All right. Uh, l yeah, let's just reroll one of these random ones and then uh, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Demon baby. Ah, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for like Ipecac just to make me fucking cry. Just weep. This is so fucking cool. I love this. I am such a huge fan of this. I'm really glad I started this run with Polyphemus. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs>